What an unpopular opinion. Somebody has Full Metal Alchemist as their favourite anime? Who would have thought? Yeah, Full Metal Alchemist is my favourite anime. So I, I just finished watching this masterpiece a bit ago. And it's my favourite anime ever made. It is brilliantly crafted. The world building is insane for a 64 episode show. Like, it's really good. And, like, I just love the characters. And I, the world is so interesting. It's like this mix of, like, fantasy and just dead goddamn real life. Like, the misery of real life combined with this cool fantasy world. I know that sounds emo as hell. No, no, no. <laughs> Reading my script, that sounds emo as hell. But, nah, it just, oh, friggin' Full Metal Alchemist fans when they see a dog. Yeah, <laughs> any, yeah, all Full Metal Alchemist fans here are crying when they, every time they see a dog. So, yeah, I'm just gonna talk about why I like Full Metal Alchemist as much as I do. That's really it. Uh, so, if you could stick around, that'd be cool. Yeah, uh, uh, this is my first anime video on the channel, so that's nice. Yeah, the thing about I said about script before, I don't have a script. I'm just saying why I love this so much. So yeah, so yeah. And I'm back. So, Full Metal Alchemist Brotherhood is a 2009 high fantasy anime. Yes, I'm literally just reading off this image. About, yeah, about two brothers who have lost their bodies and need to get them back after they tried to revive their mother because she died. And it's basically just their journey to try to get their bodies back and they encounter many characters, as such as military leaders, the evil homunculi, I'll talk about them in a minute, and more. Oh, they just, and it's about like their, their endeavour to get their bodies back. Um, very emotional. I cried several times throughout this. Now, I've never really subbed out an anime besides Fruit Basket before this. <laughs> Fruit Basket. I'm not talking about like, the 2019 money, but I'm talking about the old like, 2000s one. <laughs> I can't cry. <laughs> I can't. Sorry, I don't know why I'm laughing so hard. <laughs> so I got um yeah, it just has engaging characters and all as like I've said and endeavour and all that jazz. And yeah, I just really like it. It has a cool power system as well. So power system uh, the power system is alchemy basically. It's you it's basically just magic. You can do whatever you want with it. But it, there's the, this thing called the law of equivalent exchange, right? So you need to trade something to do something. So, like, say you're in a, you know, say you're like in a room with someone, and you want to you want to do some water alchemy or whatever, right? You're gonna do some water alchemy. So you could like maybe use the fl some of the water from your body because the human body is just made up of seventy percent water. And then turn that into the water you're using for your alchemy. That's just an example. But my god. And on a other note, on another note, yes, uh, I really like the world. The world is and the, it's very realised. It has some juicy lore. Like the Ishwalan Civil War and, and all that. And the homunculi. The homunculi are the ones who started the Ishwalan Civil War, because basically, it the homunculi bad. Also, this book contains spoilers like, that I've already said before. <laughs> it's fine. Okay, yeah, we'll include spoilers. So, the homunculi bad. Homunculi bad, right? They bad. They so bad. They real bad. They so bad. The bad, 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 bad guys. And they, uh, they do bad things, like bad, that bad guys do. <laughs> <laughs> I, I'm lost for words. And so, basically, 
Let's go around committing atrocities, and the homunculi are also regenerative, so you can't you can't really kill them. They also made out of this thing called the Philosopher's Stone, something that Ed and Al, the, our main characters, trying to find their bodies back, want because the Philosopher's Stone kind of uh, basically grant any wish. It can bypass. It can apparently bypass equivalent exchange, and so it's just cool. And really, um, I'm just gonna stop talking about the show because anything I said, I say would not do it justice. Freaking yay! Yeah, I've got three favorite characters that would be Alphonse, Roy, Roy Mustang, and Ling. They're, those are my three favorites. I love them. They're so cool. Alright, so now I'll briefly talk about the ending. And I'm not going to spoil it. But my god, the ending of this show. <laughs> I love it. So yeah, this was just my quick little gush about Full Metal Alchemist. And why I love it so much and how I just want... Ah, god damn, Full Metal Alchemist plushie is on right now. Please give me one. I want the manga. Ah, oh, something. I don't know. I want it. Please, 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 please. Okay, anyway. Uh, yeah, this has been the video. Bye.